This time on To The Horizon Sailing. We are headed down the coast. We head out the Golden Gate for some offshore adventures down to the Channel Islands. Got our fruit hammock packed. Jack is finishing up the last couple things up on deck. Well, it is Saturday evening and we are leaving Monday morning. Putting away everything we can, cleaning up. Jack and Nikki spent all day cleaning the boat and the dinghy and organizing and, and setting up a ton of rigging stuff. So we are pretty set up. Of course, I was working at the boatyard all day, so I couldn't help, which was really frustrating because I felt really useless, but they assured me that it was all good at home. What do you think, Fathom? You excited for our trip? We're hoping for some beautiful weather, some wildlife along the way, hopefully some fish so we can keep our fridge nice and full. Next up was completing our provisioning list. Stocking up on all of the provisions. Lots of provisions. We are not going to starve. <laughs> what do you got to say? Hope we can fit this all on the boat. I hope so too. <laughs> Gonna be a good one! Can't really see it on the camera, but there's a huge container ship coming through the gate right now. It's a gray, foggy morning today out on the Pacific Ocean. Jack is finishing up his watch. He just helped me get the jib up so that we've got a little more power now that the sun is up. And he's gonna head to bed to rest for a bit, right? Yeah. And I've got three fishing lines out. Hopefully we'll catch a marlin. <laughs> Kitty did pretty darn well, I would say. She got seasick yesterday. She slept most of the day just like let out a couple little like shrieks and meows and then just curled up and just <laughs> puked everywhere so i think now that she got that out of her system she's doing okay and she pretty much slept curled up with whoever was sleeping in the v-birth so that's good we are headed down the coast He's here. Jack went down below to take a little nap since he's been working his butt off for the last like, I don't even know how long, but we're excited. Hopefully it's gonna be a good trip. We sailed downwind most of the morning with about 8 to 10 knots of breeze. We decided it was the perfect opportunity to fly the spinnaker. Of course, once we had the kite flying and all the rigging for it figured out, the wind died down, leaving us with fluky spinnaker conditions. We doused the kite and with flat waters, the crew turned to entertain themselves in other ways. Last night we saw up to like 21 knots, I think, throughout the night. Um, this morning it was about eight knots, and now we're at like three to five knots. We do have the main up just for stability. It just kind of acts like a, as a counterbalance, and it does kind of help with the rocking and the swell. We should be getting to point conception like throughout like the middle of the night. It's, you know, usually at night it's a lot calmer, less, less wind, a little flatter too so the way it's looking right now if it continues like this we're just gonna be motor sailing in this huge bathtub of the pacific ocean it's pretty flat out there we're less than 24 hours away from santa rosa island all in all we are eating delicious meals together nikki made us breakfast sandwiches this morning that were delicious and 
now we are just hanging out, each kind of doing their own thing, which is nice. I'm sure once we get closer to the islands, there will be tons of wildlife since it's a national park and it's been protected for some time now. So I've heard that it's kind of considered the Galapagos of California. Pretty much every way we look, we see dolphins. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. With the dolphins gone, the crew settled back into the cockpit. That's when Fathom the boat cat took the helm and things got a little bit silly on board. Start over. <laughs> Hi, can I get two slices of pep, please? Yes, pepperoni. No, I don't want pineapple. Okay, I'll be there in five. All right. Five days. <laughs> five days. Twenty-five knots. <laughs> Snack time with rodeo waves. <laughs> Turkey wraps. <laughs> and just like that, day two of our offshore passage was coming to an end. By early morning, we could see our destination on the horizon, and the crew was eager to arrive at our first island anchorage. We are arriving to Santa Rosa Island. We are hoping to anchor at Becker's Bay. I think that's what we call it. Becker's Beachers. Okay, viewers, there seems to be a discrepancy as to how this name is pronounced. If you know the answer, leave it in the comments below. It was super foggy last night. We couldn't even see like the bow of the boat in the fog, but we had dolphins that accompanied us for a while diving around in the bioluminescence that was in the water and it was relatively calm going around Point Conception. Point Arguello was a little bit windier than I expected but once we got to Point Conception it actually died down quite a bit so that was nice um, and we actually got to sail just with the main up uh, through Point Conception so that was cool. Jack just took the main down and we are prepping to commence the anchorage. Santa Rosa Island is the second largest of the eight Channel Islands. And in 1938, the Channel Islands National Park expanded to include Santa Rosa Island. Conservation efforts have maintained the island's pristine cliffs and white sand beaches. Once we were settled in and the crew had taken a quick nap, it was time to cool off and explore our surroundings. We're checking out the super clear water that we're in that you can actually see the bottom. It's crazy. Us San Francisco Bay people don't get to see that ever. Higher winds are coming in later this afternoon. We're just going to ride it out, see how it goes in this anchorage, and probably pick up anchor tomorrow and head to Santa Cruz Island. Pretty cool so far. Not a bad place to make your first stop. started about half an hour ago and pretty much on the dot the wind started to pick up. Fog is just peeking over that top edge there of the mountain and it has completely engulfed Santa Cruz Island which is over there. And now it's blowing about 18 knots but we've got our 
Mantis anchor bridle set up so we're nice and sturdily attached. Hopefully that'll help with the swing and we'll see how we ride this out tonight. At some point through the night, the wind disappeared, and by morning, it was hard to believe we were in the same anchorage as the day before. We enjoyed a calm, quiet morning before deciding it was time to continue our adventure on to a different anchorage. All right, we have left Santa Rosa Island and heading towards Santa Cruz Island. As you can see, poking out through the distance, right at our bow there. Had some coffee, we've got our fishing lines out, and we are headed to our next destination. As we sailed towards the south side of Santa Cruz Island, we were completely engulfed by a thick fog bank. As we approached our next anchorage, we could barely see the bow of the boat, much less the immense rocks lining the entrance to the cove. So we're gonna take a look at Albert's Anchorage, which is just around this corner. Ready? Go down! Join us next time as we anchor in the thickest fog ever, explore Albert's Anchorage and its crystal clear waters, find a surprising stowaway in our dinghy, and head on to our next destination. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you loved this video. If you did, then please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below on what you liked most or what you'd like to see in a future video and even subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your support and we love sharing these videos with you guys. Alrighty, until next time.